my day 13. Um, so I'm currently alone because my boyfriend forgot something in the last hotel we were at, which is a four hour train right away. Uh, so he had to hop on the train, go back and do that. Um, but hopefully when he comes back, we'll do uh, another uh, day 13 together. For now, it's just me and I'm just waiting around uh, at the JR station. <laughs> Decided to go for a walk while I'm waiting for Jonah to return. And she knows how close the station is. Uh, it's trying to buy a lot of uh, nothing at the moment. But it looks like there's a town up there, although I don't think I'm going to reach it. And just a lot of residential areas. Day 13. 13. He's finally back. I'm back. He's back. Lots of train. Uh, four, five, about 12, 12 hours of train for me today. It was a lot. Uh, but we're finally back in Wano, uh, Wano Japan. Um, back in Tokyo. Back in Tokyo, yeah. And now we're just going to eat dinner before we uh, sleep for the night. Yeah, nice and easy. Get some Ichidan. Yep. So there wasn't much for today, but uh, hopefully there's more to do tomorrow. All right, here's our part two of each on ramen. Oh, yeah. I right, got level three spicy. He got level two. Last time he got level one, and I got level two. Pray for me. <laughs> All right. Day fourteen. Nice. Yeah, so our last. No. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> uh, last full day in yeah. Japan. Uh, we're planning to go to uh, Asakusa to go to a dog cafe, mm -hmm. which I'm looking forward to, uh, as well as... Uh, what else about it? Oh, the Tokyo Hotel. Um, and yeah, we'll see if anything else happens. Okay. See you there. All right. We're heading to Asakusa now. You get, I don't know if you can see, but there's a sky tree again. But yeah. Ooh. That's good too. That's good too. <laughs> Everything else should. <laughs> oh look. There's a revolving sushi spot. Oh. Or conveyor belt, conveyor belt sushi. Fish. By now we are going to a dog cafe. We Hopefully do. we can still make it in. Yes. I believe. Alright. Look at all these plushies. Alright. We just gotta buy our ticket. I have to not die. Yep. So cute. There you go. <laughs> so this dog cafe was really fun and a great place to go to the cashier spoke english as well so it was really easy to get the tickets once we were inside they explained the rules and the rules were that we couldn't pick up the dogs and we had to let the dogs come to us 
The staff was really helpful. As you saw earlier, there was a staff next to me to help me get this dog on my lap. Initially, I had this sweater on and they told me to put it on my lap. And as soon as I did that, this dog came right over. And although they had name tags, I didn't want to go kind of rummaging around trying to look for it. And there was so many around. After I had this friend for a minute, a few others came by and I was just having the time of my life petting all of these dogs. Jonah, my boyfriend who was also recording a lot of these videos, didn't have a dog on him. So whenever he got the chance, he was just kind of petting the dog that was on my lap or any that kind of passed by. And it kind of worked out well because you know, so I could have focus on all the different dogs that were around me. As you saw just now, I was petting this one on the floor, as well as petting the one that was on my lap every now and then, switching between the two. And a bit more about the location and their policies. We did pay for 30 minutes, that's usually the minimum amount, and you could pay for more, however, we only paid for the 30 minutes, and I think that was more than enough time to kind of just try something out and have a lot of fun with it. At least that was my experience. I also had a great experience of having two dogs sitting on my lap. However, by the end of the 30 minutes, my legs were dead. They were so numb and it was really hard to stand up. After the first dog had left my lap, I was about to stretch out when literally this other dog comes up to me and just, oh, okay, it's already nice and warm. Let me go ahead and take this spot up. We had literally stopped recording since the one that was initially on my left had left and in that split second, this other one came up to me. And not long after I had this dog on my lap, then Mochi, or at least that's what we named him, came up to my boyfriend's lap. I was chosen. He was super excited about this because initially, as you saw, I had the dog on my lap and no one was really coming up to him. Mochi also wasn't really going up to anybody else's lap. He was kind of just lounging around for the most part until this moment. So this made him really happy. And because we each had a dog, it made it a little bit more difficult to record. However, again, the staff here was super helpful. And as soon as I mentioned it, they offered to record and take photos. Initially, I had just asked for a photo and they got this video that I think is super adorable because they do the close-ups of the dog as well as show us and we're just, of course, looking as happy as we feel. So I definitely recommend if you're ever in Japan and you want to check out the Mameshiwa Cafe, you sh definitely should. There is one located here in Asakusa or one in Osaka, Kyoto, Harajuku, along with a few other locations. Ten out of ten. Would, rec coming again. would recommend. We will be back somehow, sometime. Oh. All right. So we left the the the, the small shop center uh, and dog cafe, and decided we wanted to eat some lunch. <laughs> Get in the frame. <laughs> so we decided to come to Kuro Sushi. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Looking forward to it. We'll tell you uh, our review afterwards. Exactly. Okay. Ah. All right, we just came out of Kura Sushi. Kura Sushi. Um, yeah. It was all right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it was it was good for an experience of revolving sushi, though. Yeah. So it was nice. Yeah, definitely. Um, but now, yet again, we go to, I guess, one of our favorite places. Don Quixote. Exactly. Look at that. We're back here again. We're now heading to a matcha cafe. And we're not sure what we're gonna get. Yep. Either we're gonna get just a drink or a drink and ice cream and mochi and <laughs> other goods. Other stuff. Up in the air. But yeah. Last time was really busy here. And now it's just like yeah, we could go right very here. few. Still popular, obviously. Yeah.
All right, so the <laughs> the shop was closed. Yeah, they, yeah, no, no matcha. No matcha. So, um, so he's gonna go get the taiyaki. Um, then I'm gonna go to the station, and I saw this store last time when we went to Ichiran uh, that had some peanuts items. So I'm gonna go mm -hmm. check that out, and then we're gonna meet up and have some uh, taiyaki. Get some taiyaki. Sonia's gonna have her second beer from Sapporo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. Yep. Drunk responsibly, kids. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. All right, our last meal. Yakiniku. Niku ga mi sama. Oh, All right. <laughs> You're good? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Make it last longer. Mm -hmm. It wants to be eaten in one go. Spot we went to. Dun, dun, dun. All right. <laughs> All right. This is the uh, premium Sapporo. Um, or not premium. Sorry, extra rich. Mm. Extra rich. Uh, we'll, we'll see. The, the flavor of quality really lives up to that. No, no, I think I like the classic one a little bit better. Not bad, though. Not bad. Classic is just a little bit better. I think this one's a little darker, too. I think that's the other thing. But yeah, give it a try if you want to. So this is the final day of our time in Japan. We are currently on a Shinkansen heading to the airport. I want to say thank you for anyone who has watched my vlog so far and there will definitely be more to come. I don't know about any more long videos like this but there will definitely be more shorts to come of Japan stuff that we did along with anything that's currently happening in my life. So stay tuned for that if you're interested and thank you so much for watching at the airport on the fifth floor gotcha but also look at this sunny <laughs> and jonah's over there looking at all the options all right oh man my hair looks looks like something anyways <laughs> final departure final departure we're here at the airport uh i'm about to go through a, a checkpoint security security check um Yep. And then just wait in our terminal. Yeah. Yep. All right. See you back in LA.